party. Part of the incident was captured on videotape, and Steve Lenz reports. This home video shows Torrance police restraining and arresting two men at a party last May 15. The men alleged they were brutally beaten, and one was choked into unconsciousness by the officers. The man being choked is 20-year-old Tom Tice, who lives at the house on 175th Street in Torrance, where a party had been going on for six hours. Paramedics responding to a fight call police. Corporal Jim Lynch and Officer Ross Bartlett were first to arrive. 26-year-old Cliff Shirk was the first person allegedly beaten and arrested. One of the officers, Officer Lynch, approached me and asked me if I was deaf. Well, I was leaving, I figured, you know, if I'm doing something wrong. He immediately started pushing me with his fingertips, starting to fight, trying to start a fight or something, I don't know. And uh, I didn't want nothing to do, so I just wanted to leave. I turned around to leave, I was about on the curb, and he grabbed me in a chokehold, threw me on the ground, and then just beat me until I was unconscious. Lice. Hit me, and um, then I was uh, lifted up, still in the chokehold, and taken out to the police car, and taken to jail. Five more arrests were made, with some beatings allegedly occurring at the Torrance City Jail. Tom Tice says he couldn't walk for a week after the beating. They snuck up behind me and just uh, dragged me around, hit me and held my hand and told me to put it behind my back, and um, then just beat me until I was unconscious. A Hawthorne police officer who acts as a consultant to victims in brutality cases says police overreacted. At this point, he's unconscious. He's completely gone out. You see the arm dangling. He's completely limp. And any training would have told this officer immediately to release this kid because you can result in, in brain damage by continuing to choke him like this. Outside, a Torrance police lieutenant said the party was a rowdy one. They described that it was utter chaos, that there was people drunk and drinking and belligerent, and that they were unable to treat the injured person. A lawyer for the men arrested says there have been 13 complaints of brutality against the Torrance police this year. A police investigator says a few cases of excessive force have been investigated. I've heard it's a riot. I've heard it's a riot.